when we sinned against God and we refused to turn away from our sins, the Lord sent hosts of armies to conquer our land. You could hear cries, wailings, and death was the best option left for us. It won't come. Instead, we were taken away from our land as captives. I was a little girl when I lost my parents. <laughs> I was raised by another man. Instead of my parents, I was the only child. So beautiful to behold that even the king could not reject me as his queen. The contest was set. Maidens, beautiful, all virgins. But I won the heart of the king. My name is... What is the problem, my lord? I will deal with Mordecai. What has he done this time? I will show him what I am made of. Talk to me, my lord. Imagine, the other day he refused to bow to me at the gate. Today, he took my honor and I was humiliated before all the people. Humiliated? How? The king wanted to reward a man in his book of remembrance. I was thinking I'm the one. So what happened next? With full assurance, I told the king what to do thinking I'm the one. The king asked me to carry Mordecai round the city and shout this is the man that the king has chosen to honor. Did you do it? Should I go against the king order? It's high time we deal with that slave called Mordecai. Yeah that's true. So what do you have in mind? Make a gallow, so you can hang him. I think I have a better plan together with yours. Thanks my love. <gasps> Sorry my love. Long live King Ahasuerus. Heman step forward. What brings Heman to my palace? There are people in your province that do not keep and obey the law set by you in this kingdom. In my kingdom? Yes my king, the Jews. I beg the king, if it pleases you, let it be written that they may be destroyed. I will pay 10,000 talents of silver to the hand of those that will carry out the killings of these people. Go on, Heman. To bring it to the king's treasuries. I will give you my ring of authority. Go and do as you have suggested. Send the letters to all my province, seal the letters with the ring of authority. Deal with them as it pleases you. My queen. Yes, what is it? I saw Mordecai crying and weeping in a sackcloth. Are you serious? Yes, my queen. Did you care to find out what's wrong? No, my queen. He's going round the city crying. Get me Hatech. I need to speak to him in private. Yes, my queen. You sent for me, my queen. Yes, Hatech. I want you to take some clothes to Mordecai. Tell him it's from me. Yes, my queen. Mordecai, the queen sent me to you. What is it? She asked me to give you some clothes. You should put off the sackcloth you're wearing. Tell her I don't need it. I will give you a letter. Give it to her. Tell Mordecai I cannot go to the king except he sent for me. If I go without his invitation, or the king stretching out his scepter towards me, I will be put to death. Yes, my queen. The queen cannot go to the king now. It's against the rules of the kingdom. Tell her if she thinks she will be safe in the king's, then she lies. If she refuses to help us, God will send another helper, but she and her father's house will not escape this death sentence upon the Jews. Who knows if it was for this reason God took her to the throne as queen, so she can speak for her people. 
That's what he said I should tell you. Go back to him. Tell him to gather all the Jews in Shushan. They should join me to fast for three days, after which I will go to the king. Yes, my queen. If I perish, I perish.